Hello, so today I'm going to be talking to you all about my first track and field meet of this indoor season. So shooting track and field, I always have this um, argument in my head of what lens to throw on to which body. Whether I take a wide angle and a 70 to 200 or the 70 to 200 and the 300 or to do two primes and put the 300 on one and the 85 on other when I need something a little wider. 85 in track and field could be considered a wide because of how far back you have to stay from each event. So an 85 could be a good mix. And so for this track meet, I shot mostly with the 300 on one body and the 70 to 200 on the other. So the nice thing about having the 300 is it gives me something that's really long, allowing me to get good compression on the subject, whether they're running towards me or they're about to do a pull vault or a high jump. Um, and you just have to figure out where you need to be standing and you basically have to stay there um, once you get your framing correct with the 300 because you can't zoom with it since it's a prime. Um, but having the 70 to 200 on the other body also gives me something to work with when um, if they get a little closer um, coming over to a coach or if they are running past me I can start with the 300 when they're far away and then switch to the 70 to 200 as they're running past me on the track um, so it gives you a little bit of variety um, and a little more coverage on the event or um, before and after they uh, attempt whatever they're about to do. So I found that the 70 to 200 came in really handy. Um, after a high jumper would do their jump, they would run over to the coach and see their um, a video of their attempt and they can see what they need to fix or change or what they're doing right. And so I was able to use the 70 to 200. I just back up a little bit, went to 70 and I was able to get the coach and the player um, going over that footage. Um, so that came in handy. Also after a pull vault or after a, um, a sprint or a run, um, I used the 300 as they're running. And then after they go through the finish line, I could switch to the 70 to 200 and get them after they're done, um, catching their breath, coming over and getting congratulated by teammates or a coach talking to them. Um, I have something that's a little wider and a little more um, variety of zoom, uh, being able to go from 70 to 200. So I can kind of work with um, a different focal length to get what I need to get. Typically I would use a 24 on like championship day or anything like that because I'll also be getting team photos and trophy presentations. But I didn't think I was gonna need anything super wide. Um, now I still have the lens packed, but I didn't end up putting it on that day. Uh, most of the stuff I was shooting were seniors and most of them were in events that I couldn't get um, close enough to use a wide without it being just too wide. So um, those are just a few um, things on why I would use this, the 300 and the 70 to 200 on this first track meet. I always change it up. Um, we have a couple track meets at home every year. I'm always changing it up. Um, the 24 will come out next meet and I'll be doing some uh, long shutters and some uh, shutter drags as they sprint past me to get some motion blur. Um, but this time around, it was uh, down to the 7200 and the 300. Hope you enjoyed these images. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'd appreciate it if you would uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.